Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Ralph, and today I'm going to be talking about the Atomos Neon 17 inch. It's a new monitor from uh, Atomos. Yeah, it's this little guy right here. Um, <clears throat> so, this is going to be uh, first impressions. Um, first of all, it's, uh, it's an amazing monitor, uh, it looks really good. Um, I plan on using it for, uh, for actually mastering um, and also for monitoring video. I'm filming this right now on, on an A7S III. Um, so uh, first things first, uh, calibration of this monitor. Um, I haven't been able to do that um, as of yet. Um, I got this cable, the Atmos cable, it's like $65 or something. It's the uh, serial to USB-C. Um, it does not work on my 2018 MacBook Pro. Um, I tried connecting it to my Windows PC. Um, it connects to my Ninja. I was able to connect it to my Ninja. Um, but um, when I tried to connect it to the Neon, um, it would lose uh, connection. Um, it wouldn't even connect to the Ninja when I connected it to my MacBook Pro. So. I'm actually going to be returning this. I'm going to go for uh, the uh, serial to USB-A uh, cable and see if that works. But the USB-C cable, I've, I was reading online um, and reviews and forums, and it's very spotty. Um, I had to try multiple times to uh, calibrate the Ninja, um, so it's just not something that's reliable. Using it as a mastering monitor, um, I usually grade on a Flanders a DM240, and um, that's 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 an amazing monitor, one of the uh, um, standards in in grading. Um, first of all, uh, uh, the settings for the uh, the neon, it's too bright. Um, it is an HDR monitor. And uh, even if you've set to SDR, uh, the controls for it on the app, it's slider controls. It's it's not based on. I don't believe it's based on nits. It's it goes from forty uh, something to to a hundred, and I'm not really sure. I think that's more of percentage. So I'm going to put it up to a hundred here. So it's just. It says backlight, 42 to, uh, to 100. Um, not sure what the increments stand for, um, assuming it's percentage. Um, so I really think if you're gonna use it for mastering, you need uh, to calibrate it with, and use a LUT, 3D LUT on it. Um, I think the calibration that Atomos does is for, um, is, is just for accuracy, color accuracy. I haven't been able to do that just yet. Um, but yeah, so uh, you don't have full controls over brightness, over nits. Um, I do have some meters. I could probably try to dial in and check the, uh, the nits on it uh, for SDR grading. Um, another thing too is it can't take 444 12-bit signal from Resolve. Um, uh, Flanders DM240 can take uh, 444 12 bit signal, but when I uh, both uh, plug them in simultaneously, I have an Ultra Studio 4K Mini. Um, same signal, uh, it has two outputs. Uh, it cannot uh, read 444 12 bit signal. Um, it, the quality difference is very minor, but it, you're missing a little bit of a that that extra something when you don't have that um, but you could still grade um, with it uh, I don't think it's it uh, it affects it too greatly but um, it's just nice to have that you know another thing too is um, for HDR uh, grading um, so what I did was I graded on it and plus I have an output going to my LG uh, 2019 B9 and I have calibrated that for HDR. I removed the ABL, the brightness limiters, uh, set it up for uh, for it and um, I calibrated with the LG, uh, with the Kalman LG Home um, and it's looking great. Um, it's, uh, it's looking really close to the Flanders actually. Um, 
So, I created an HDR video, and the how it looks on the Atomos was different from the um, HDR feed going to my LG. So, I created it, and I exported it, and uploaded it to YouTube, and YouTube uh, um, plays back the uh, uh, HDR file, and I watched it with my iPhone 12 Pro Max, which, which is HDR capable, and the LG on YouTube, and the, uh, the iPhone HDR playback on YouTube matches the resolve output on my LG B9. So, uh, in the end product for QC quality control, um, I think the LG B9 is uh, more, a little bit more accurate, uh, calibrated um, for grading HDR than the Atomos um, uh, uncalibrated. Now, I'm still missing the cable, um, so I'm, I'm not able to do that just yet. I also, uh, I've read that people make 3D LUTs for, uh, for the Atomos. Um, not sure how that will work with HDR. I don't know if uh, uh, making an HDR LUT, I don't even know if that's correct. So it needs some finessing for HDR grading. Again, this is the 17 inch, which is 8-bit uh, plus 8 plus 2 FRC. It's not true 10-bit. Um, I don't know how much of a difference that makes. Um, again, uh, I think it needs a LUT, but out of the box, you could grade HDR. It can uh, play it back, it looks good, but it just doesn't um, match what the end product if you place it on YouTube. So um, I think it needs a little bit more work. Um, so that's my take on it. Uh, I, th I think it's the specs are there. I think it's a fully capable monitor, but I think it it just needs some um, finessing, some maybe some uh, some changes to the UI uh, for for um, changes. And another um, little little uh, problem I have is when you make changes on the app. Um, you don't know uh, if it ap applies it or if it's connected. There's there's a bit of a delay, and it's it's not consistent. It's not a consistent delay on um, uh, connection from the app to the monitor. So when I'm going back and forth between SDR and HDR, it just it just takes a little bit of time. Another thing too, uh, I thought it said it had cross conversion between SDI and HDMI. But I have the Flanders connected, um, so I have the HDMI feed going from my A7S III going to the Neon, and uh, HDMI to the LG, SDI to the Flanders, but it's not playing. But I also did the reverse, uh, SDI to, to uh, the Neon, and um, HDMI to the LG and it doesn't uh, play back so I don't think there's cross conversion SDI to HDMI I thought it said it did um, but uh, I don't think that's working right now um, a good a, a great feature I like is that it can downscale so um, my flow uh, my workflow has been um, from resolve to my ultra studio 4k mini uh, SDI out to the Neon uh, 4K signal. Uh, the Neon itself downscales because it's only a 1080p, but it can take a 4K signal and then downscales uh, uh, the 4K signal 1080p to my Flanders. So um, I, I, I have two monitors from which to, to grade. I can use um, the, the Flanders is way more accurate right now. Um, the the neon I can use for the scopes, um, uh, the the waveforms and all that stuff. Uh, so it's good to have have that kind of overlaid instead of using separate scopes and you have to go back and forth. I think the Atomos neon is a fully capable monitor. It looks great. Um, I think it still needs some finessing. I wish there was a little bit more flexibility on the. Uh, controls um, as far as luminance goes um, 
and I think the conversion engine, the PQ conversion uh, conversion engine, is just a little different. So I'm hoping maybe someone um, makes a LUT, or uh, if I get around to it, makes a LUT for that conversion, uh, HDR conversion, um, to make it a little bit closer for the standards of, of uh, YouTube and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope I hope uh, this builds on for other people. Um, uh, I think it's a I think it's a great monitor, and I think it just needs a little bit more uh, updating. So uh, so yeah, uh, please post any questions. Uh, I like to I really love to use this for HDR uh, grading. Um, so hopefully I can uh, figure a lot more stuff out. I hope some of, some of you can can uh, figure some stuff out too. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's let's get this going.